name is Avery and today we're going to be making a CRT filter that you can use in your own game. So the point of a CRT filter is kind of give your game a nostalgic effect where you can make it look like you're playing on an old TV. And recently the SNES Mini that came out, it has its own CRT filter and you can go ahead and turn it on to make it look like your games are old fashioned. It's similar to how Adult Swim in some of their cartoon styles, they have a little noise, static noise that covers over their cartoons that it gives it a different effect. So we're going to breaking down how it works and how you can do it in your own game. And as you can see there are plenty of CRT filters out there and they kind of do it a little bit differently than each other. Or some are better quality than others but we're just going to break down and show the basic uses of it. So the CRT filter it's going to have two different rays. One's going to be a vertical one's going to be a horizontal. So we'll just have it so the vertical and horizontal just span across the whole entire screen. And we'll set their color to zero and we'll just have no color and we can just turn on a transparency for each other. and now we're going to want to make it so these rays of vertical and horizontal can be duplicated across the whole entire screen so here we're just going to have it across the whole entire screen every single four pixels and then we just multiply it by four the x and y axis and we just grow it across the whole entire screen like this now by doing this we can choose the only draw the horizontal lines or we can go ahead and only draw the vertical lines or if we can put them all together make it so there's an they cross each other. This, this is simply the CRT filter that I have to show you. But we're going to go ahead and make it a little bit more advanced. We're going to make it so we have a little line that crosses across the screen like we see in some old static TVs where there's a little blip. And basically how we do this is we just keep a counter and this counter will just grow it. And as we're just going to grow up at every single two rows right here. And every single time it crosses the whole entire screen we'll just reset it back to the left or back to the top and then we just have it checking for where that line is supposed to be and we'll just change the transparency for that make it a little bit darker or less transparent and then you can go ahead and see it a little bit more as you can see right here so we have the horizontal one along with the vertical one I went ahead and changed some more things and you can actually go ahead and change the transparency and make it so it looks a little more darker and you can have this alter throughout your game. If you're into a, a darker place, you can just change the filter. So the idea to make this video actually came for me because one of my friends, he has this game right here. It's called Cosmic Chaos 2. I'll have the link to it in the description. It's about two bucks to buy, I think. And he has his own CRT filter. And I thought it was really cool and I wanted to show you guys how he made it himself. But thank you again so much for watching. If you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe. I have other videos similar to this, along with other tutorials using SDL2 and similar things. Go ahead and leave a like if you have any questions. Leave it in the comment section below and see you guys next time.